Uh, alam mo, gusto ko talagang i-reserve sana to. Pero dahil fair naman tayo dito at yes. sinabi ko, alphabetical tayo. Alphabetical, yun, oh. Oo, alphabetical kasi itong labanan natin. Eh. Wala akong magagawa kung hindi i-review ngayon to para pahirapan ka at pahirapan ako. Although may, may choice na rin naman ako. Davao, Aliza Malinao. Wait lang, saan ba ako magsisimula? Prelims, Jude Makasinag, Golden Canary, or Joe Rubio, White, Terno. As simple as that. Alin ka doon? Kasi, kasi, okay. kasi. Ano eh, I, I, I'm, I'm torn. Kasi, one, on, on one hand, ipinakita ni, ano, ni, ni Eliza yung diva, pagka-diva niya, with the uh, with the June Makasinag na na na, na gold cup. But on the other hand, ipinakita niya yung kaya ko rin ang refined na, na kilos, kaya ko yung queenly na galaw with the uh, with the Joe Rubio na terno. So for me, because it is something that people do not see often, I go with the terno. It's <laughs> I don't know. I, we, I've never seen a candidate who wore the terno as a fi, as a finals evening gown. Na tipong siya lang ang ano, siya lang yung may kusa na nagterno. And in previous competitions, I think in Mutia they also they, they've done this uh, already on, in Mutia. Na lahat ng mga evening lahat evening gowns nila is, uh, is 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 a terno. But this time, the candidates have a choice. Kung kung ano yung gusto nilang gamitin. And I think um, Eliza became the star of the night because of this white there. No? I think I think overall, if we look at the top 16, siya yung pinaka-standout because of what she did with the ter- with the terno. And and what is very impressive about this is yung nationalistic na flavor and the... Uh, because of the nationalistic flavor of um, of uh, Eliza's choice, I think um, I'm going with the uh, final slope because it's clean. Um, the way she moved was very Minorca Mercado, circa 1994. Um, I, I, if you remember the white and black uh, black applique on the Inosoto uh, uh, terno that, he, that 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 she wore, it kind of reminds me of that. And for someone na medyo uh, namulat sa pageants uh, because of the 1994 Miss Universe here in the Philippines. Um, it's good. It's a good feeling to have that uh, modernized uh, with Eliza's uh, white hair. How about you, Tita? Ako. Um, just like you, nahirapan ako. Um, Jude is one of our favorites. Um, and when I say one of our favorites, bago pa nagtare si Jude, sinuportahan na namin yung talent ni Jude sa Tita of Pageantry. Um, talagang nasunda namin yung galing ng batang to. And natuwa talaga ako na although it looked very Versace, um, may thought process kasi yung ginawa niya. And I know from the videos na hindi siya ganun kagal- kadali. It took 500 hours to um, come up with that. But I love you, Jude. You know that. I will be choosing the finals. Um, my God, what was that all about? I mean, I understand two ladies who were at there, no? April Smith, which was impeccable as well, but Eliza's gown for me was like crazy, beautiful. Um, and I like the fact that it was so simple. And when it when a gown is so simple, when a terno is so simple, wala kang room for error. Hindi yes. ka pwedeng magpucker dyan, hindi ka pwedeng nothing. As in, kailangan walang chismis pagdating sa make niyan. Now, Sir Jason, I'm gonna open this one up because people might think that I'm hiding information because I have a bit of closeness, of course, with Eliza. Um, nung day ng... Um, nung day ng finals, um, Leslie Mobo, uh, who we all know is uh, part 
Yeah. Well, I'm not naman part. Parang views niya kasi si Eliza posted a photo of a white terno, white terno. which confused a lot of people kasi parang ni-reveal niya yung terno na gagamitin ni Eliza but at the same time, Eliza wore a different terno. Um, I do know that on YouTube at least, medyo na-pick up na rin to. And so, I know na at least on YouTube, meron na silang na-pick up and I think uh, the video is not favorable to Eliza. Now, I am not in the liberty to make cuento everything because I think that things will um, reveal itself in due time. But uh, just so people know, yes, um, magkaibang designer yon. Um, Leslie was supposed to make Eliza's dress, but maybe um, along the way there were issues. And uh, Joe Rubio stepped in to complete um, the vision. So as for the details, again, I am not in the liberty to discuss the details, pero uh, what is important is alam ng dalawang designers na to kung ano yung sitwasyon and um, magkaroon na rin sila ng understanding para dun sa final look ni Eliza. Um, but nevertheless, had it been done uh, dun sa gusto nilang mangyari, I think Eliza would have really gone for the Leslie because it's actually the same vision na ginawa lang ni Joe Rubio. And again, I like the fact, Sir Jason, na pagdating kay Eliza dun sa final presentation niya, she did not have to do a lot of movements na parang a lot of pose pa andar na very iconic poses na may gumaganon, gumaganon. Talagang Eliza lang siya. And the pride, yeah. iba yung pride na dala-dala ng isang ternong malinis, uh, dalisay, puti, at uh, kagalang-gala. Pag magbasa ka ngayon sa Philippine Pageant 3 pages, doesn't matter kung magkakaaway tayo or bati-bati tayo, mukhang all across the board eh, Love na love naman natin tong si Palanggang Bunso. Uh, yes. The eventual winner, our very first Miss Universe Philippines under the new franchise, Rabia Matea of Ilo. Ilo. Sir Jason, ikaw na mauna. Ano ba? Prelims o finals? Alam mo, pinag-iisipan ko din eh. Kasi gusto ko yung movement ng kapa ng prelims. Pero mas gusto ko yung drama ng red na hey, hey, ng, na the finals I I probably go with the finals kasi ang mas plakado yung hair and makeup doon sa finals I think it's the <laughs> hair na dala nung hair yung finals na gown over the prelims although I really like the movement the flow uh flowy soft movement of the cape nung prelims but hindi finals talaga eh but man I will choose Nahirapan ako dito, actually. Medyo nahirapan ako dito. Pero, finals ako. Because red is power and I am red. Ah. Well, kung ako naman ang papipiliin mo, marami akong elements sa white na nagustuhan. Um, na-mention ko na to before, uh, sa previous episode ko na, usually sa competition, a lot of the girls will wear red. But yeah. somehow, someway, si Rabia lang ang nakapula nung gabing yun. Si Rabia yeah, lang yeah. ang, kumbaga nag-align lahat sa kanya. Kasi alam mo naman yung red, you know, women, I don't know if I can speak for, you know, in general, pero I read somewhere also na ang pula kasi, lalo na yung pulang lipstick, uh, tumataas talaga yung moral ng babae kapag nakapulang lipstick. Nakapula. I do know, na during uh, World War II, uh, ang taas ng sales ng red lipstick. Kasi parang it was something na parang kahit bare yung face mo, parang nagpo-pop pa rin eh. And I would think na red is something na isusuot mo kapag may, may something special ka. Lalo na kapag ikaw yung tipo ng tao na hindi naman talaga nagsusuot ng kulay. Katulad ko, feeling ko pag birthday ko, magpupula ako. So, I would understand the rationale of wearing red for something na very important. Yeah. So, medyo heavy lang sa akin tingnan overall with the hair na ganon, with everything, but I'm now leaning towards red kasi parang mas nagiging iconic siya. You know, we see a lot of these, um, you know, Disney-fied uh, digital uh, art. art. Parang, yeah. di ba nakikita Archibald. natin? Parang it's, 
Oo, di ba? Hello, Archibald. So, parang it's cute, it's nice. Um, so, white naman, I like the cut. Feeling ko, if Rabia goes into Miss Universe, they should look into the silhouettes of um, Berta Bridal. Kailangan for me, siguro with Rabia, mas kita yung mas may skin kasi nga she's on the petite side. Kasi yung final down niya, medyo na-cover siya lahat nun eh. I would have probably removed the cape part. The cape. Yes. Uh-uh. Yes. And as for the yes. hair and makeup, although Rabia is ravishing, ravishing Rabia, gusto ko yung ayos niya and yung pagkaayos lalo ng hair niya nung prelims. Now, let's go to Miss Mandawe Lupixon. Uh, I'm, I've yet to check, but it's a Marachua for Lupixon. Which one are you gonna choose? Prelims or finals? I am going to choose finals. Talaga? Very yes. interesting. Why? Uh, it's different. I mean, okay. um, from from a fashion perspective, it's it was there. It was powerful. It was eye catchy. It was, you know, it's everything that you want to 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 attract it's attention. It's a monstera. It's it's uh. You know, uh, they they call this the Samgyeopsal gown now because of the yeah, I, yeah, I know, I know. That yeah. dagdagan mo na lang ng meat and then you can have unlimited oh, Samgyeopsal. But the way that uh, you create this gown is that you have to create all of those leaves individually, and then sa kamo siya tataihin, ipa pattern together uh, to create the gown. Ko naman, um, I'm with you. I appreciate the the effort. Kasi I know na hindi lang siya basta tagpi-tagpi. Otherwise, magbumuka siyang suman na nirap yeah. mo sa, um, sa leaves. But this time, I'm gonna play safe. I'm gonna choose prelims. Um, gusto ko naman ng edgy, pero ayoko naman yung tipong edgy na papunta na tayo sa meme territory. Yun yeah. lang naman ang sake. Yeah. Right? Um, moving on, this one is very interesting. Uh, first of all, natutuwa ako nakapasok siya <laughs> kasi alam naman natin medyo mahirap makapasok kung wala ka masyadong name recall dito sa uh, edition na to. But I am talking about Miss Mesamis Oriental Caroline Veronilia. Now, I do apologize. I don't have the information on who made Caroline's gown, but she wore gold for the prelims, and she wore this um, party party dress no finals. What's your take, Sir Jason? Um, so, if you want to play safe, um, you would go with the prelims. Mm-hmm. But I am going with the finals. How about it, Tita? I'm going with the finals as well. What's going to be our visual? Yes. Finals it is. Finals. Yes. I'm going for the finals. Why? Um, siguro because there's more personality with the finals gown. Now, um, is it a pageant gown? Definitely not. But there is something about this gown that if with the right uh, continuation of the uh, of the panels it would have worked like for example the blue one if it went all the way through with the blue tool the the gold one with the gold tool and the purple one with the gold tool pwede mo siyang ano eh you can you can actually make it work for a uh, page, uh well, you can make it work as a pageant gown uh this gown wasn't perfect uh, like what you said, like what you mentioned, but for me, this sparks joy. It's like sapin sapin suman chic. Alam mo yes. But I did get to read somewhere. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong. Na hindi daw na yari ng buong buo yung gown. So I'm just wondering kung ano yung full look talaga niya na tapos na tapos. But more than that, I really like her styling. Um, I agree with you. I would have wanted the waist to be cinched, but I actually don't mind na medyo drop waist ang maging itsura niya. And I like that it was also different. Quirky, different banderita sa naisip ko. Parang very party Mindanao. Yeah. But uh, 
Yeah, good. Because if I choose the gold one, um, I feel naman it's so basic. Parang yes. it's a basic uh, column dress. It's a basic beaded dress. Um, no offense, of course, to the designer. Because alam ko naman hindi naman talaga ganon kadali yung um, magbibid ka. But yeah, I'm going for the Mindanao party dress. Moving on, someone that sobrang nahirapan ako ha. Talagang this one brought her A game to the competition. I'm not just talking about her evening gown performances to all aspects of the competition from double day one. Her chosen from double day twirl one. Yan. Double twirl, yeah. eleganza, classic, everything, everything, ballet. I'm talking about Miss Paranaque's Bella Ismael. Come on, give me a tough one. Ano pipiliin mo? Prelims or finals? Um, prelims, pero mm, with one major change. Prelims with uh, one major change. Yes. Uh, prelims in red lipstick. Ooh. Because um, the, the the gown with the with the with the prelims, an lakas ng makakutur. I mean, the feather, the beadwork, uh, the pattern of the beadwork, uh, by 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 for uh for on it for an on it. Hindi siya yung tipong magagawa mo lang in just a matter of two months. Kulang ang dalawang buwan para tapusin mo yung ganyang ganyang ka ka, ka integrate na beadwork plus feather work. Ako, uh, tough, tough choice for me because I love both gowns. Um, yeah, super tough. But I'm gonna choose the finals. Yes. And my reason is that, again, maraming natakot sa royal blue, pero fearless si Bella, hindi siya natakot sa royal blue. I have not seen this silhouette, yung co-words, yung pagkahating gown, yung parang very manananggal type of gown. Uh, hindi pa ako nakakita ng ganyan sa Philippine pageantry. Um, I like the fact na pagdating sa blue gown, there was movement. At hindi natakot si Bella, knowing na Bella is also not one of the tallest candidates. And usually, when you're not one of the tallest, ayaw mo ng klase ng gown na parang very A-line, very princess cut. Pero hindi natakot yes. si Bella doon. And if you look closely, um, may beading siya doon sa top part ng cohort. And then hanggang sa may hip part, may beading actually, yeah. may beading pattern yung gown yeah. na yun. So it wasn't just parang a sparkly, shiny fabric na napipick up ng lights. But it was really because parang may panel siya ng beading. I think there's like two or three three colors of the the, 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 the crystals that they... That that they used on this. I'm not sure if two or three, but uh, nap ang napipick up ko is around two or three shades of blue. Oo, para may midnight blue, may royal blue, may, yeah. may parang onyx, may yes. parang lapis. Or, or, or some, yeah. Yeah, lapis. Yeah. Oo, oo, oo. Alright, so next, uh, medyo matatapos na tayo dito, I am going to talk about Miss Pasig. She is Rihanna Agatha Pangindian. Uh, she wore two different gowns. The first one was pink. And forgive me, I did not get to research the name of the designer. But please list him as well sa mga comment section ninyo. And then she wore a gold gown. Um, a very champagne type of gold gown for the finals. Which one, Sir Jason? Uh, I'd go for the finals. There is something very Indian beadwork with the with the pattern, with the uh, with the way that the the cutout has been made to make her body look like a slimmer. I think I think it's the it, it's the combination of everything the 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 the, the shoulder extension, uh, the the cape. The uh, the beadwork on the chest and um, the gussets 
or no 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 it's not gussets it's godets on the on the on the skirt part so you i think it's a i think it's a win for uh for for both but i am biased with the make and the and the uh intricacy of the design of the final scout. Ako naman, um, I will agree with you, I am choosing the final gown. Yeah. I'm choosing the final gown simply because I did not remember the prelim scout. Does that make oh. sense? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, for the final gown lang, um, I do know that I've seen this type of gown before. Yung design na to, parang very Elisa, very yeah. George Hobeka. Yeah. Na may, parang may recent collection siya na ganun yung tipo, na parang may cut out dito, tapos may shoulder thingy. But I will commend na because I like pulling references, it reminds me yung of, alam mo yung mga relief sa mga art deco buildings, yung mga nasa gilid ng buildings na parang may mga babae with winged creatures, very 1930s. Yes, I'm gonna yes. flash um, some visuals for you para makita nyo. Ito yung mga nakikita ko sa mga art deco buildings. Yes. Yun. Um, very, very Chicago, very New York, very... Uh, Mga, mga Very Manila. Etro. Oh, oh, but na, a little later. Um, yes. Oo, mga, 19, mga 1920s, 1930s. Yan yung mga yes. look na nakikita oh. ko. Punta naman tayo sa isa sa mga heavy favorites na itong competition na to. The undeniably statuesque Michelle Gumabao. Now, I do know that Michelle Gumabao um, wore two gowns. Ayan. Ayan, so para sure tayo. Sir Jason, sinong gumawa ng gown nito? The blue one was made by Noel Crisostomo. I'm sorry, it wasn't blue. Let's let's make that more fashion. Teal. Ayan. Teal. Yes. <laughs> the teal gown was made by Noel Crisostomo. And then the green one, um, paying homage to La Salle. Um, this was made by... Ezra Couture. Which one, Sir Jason? Oh, I'd go for the finals. The finals one. The finals. Okay, why why, Sir Jason? Why the finals down? Because there was too much fabric on the prelims gown. Uh -huh. it, 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 the prelims gown is good um, if you are very, very thin. If you are model esque thin, I, I believe. Uh -huh. um, but for Michelle's build, I think uh, it did not. It, it tried to cover her, yung I, yung yung yeah. yung, uh, yung yung gown. It uh -huh. and and um, the more that you are trying to hide something, the more na nagiging pansinin siya. Uh, I think that is the um, that is the. Uh, that is the, the the issue that I have with the uh, with the prelims gown because if you take the prelims gown uh, out from Michelle and look at it at a completely um, individual thing of its own, just looking at the gown of its own, ang ganda ng gown pero hindi lang bumagay doon sa katawan ni Michelle. Unlike the 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 the, the finals gown na simple yung 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 silhouette. Cut. Silhouette. Bumagay, bumagay siya doon sa katawan ngayon ni Michelle. And if if you're taking the taking uh, taking Michelle out of context dito sa dalawang gowns na to, I would prefer the teal gown over the um over the green na, na finals gown niya. But because you cannot remove Michelle from the equation, I'd go for the green gown because it flattered her figure much better than the teal na, teal na gown. Um, for me, uh, there was too much going on for the teal na gown for a pageant gown. Kung red carpet, ito, perfect. I believe ito, um, kapag minetro ball mo, pag uusapan ng gown na ito. But for a pageant gown, um, kahit na medyo unforgiving yung green, kasi for me kasi yung green eh, Medyo runner-up color siya eh. Like uh -oh. Irene Esser, 
si uh, uh-huh. ngayon si Michelle tapos nung nakakaang nakakaang linggo si uh, Natasha Jobert they all wore green uh-huh. and the only girl that I can remember who wore green at nanalo is Win uh, Win Win Marquez and I believe uh-huh. she is the exception to the rule sobra right uh-huh. I'm looking at the and, green gowns din eh, na ang hirap ipol you know what for Jason um yeah. if I may share na mention to sa akin before ng isa sa mga binibini girls na pag naga approve sila sa binibini Pilipinas parang they would veer away from the mossy types of greens pero nakalusot yung mga tipo ni uh, Joanna Eden kasi parang nagigets oh, kasi uh, uh, diba? uh, uh, yes. pero usually daw the I don't know if you if anyone can um, confirm this pero sa binibini daw uh, medyo hindi nila masyado naaprobahan yung or or medyo din discourage sila kapag green, green yung gown kasi ang hirap daw talaga ang ng rehistro sa camera ilaw at saka uh, siguro din ilaw. sa ilaw din sa ilaw uh-huh. din uh-huh. ako naman um for Michelle I will also choose the final gown but but but, okay. I really, but, uh, really uh, love but. the color of the teal one. Teal. I will agree with you. Um, comment ko na rin na, dun sa dalawang competition, finals and prelims, I think that was Michelle's prettiest. Ang ganda-ganda oh. ng mukha ni Michelle dun. Um, I like na nakaban siya. I also like na mahaba yung hair niya. But I would prefer din yung mahaba kasi the goal is kahit matangkad ka, magmukha ka pang matangkad, di ba? Yes. Mukha ka pang mahaba. So, kahit is my intelligence, right? Oo, oh, oh, kahit is my talaga. Kahit na oh. mas maliit ka, mas matangkad ka, kailangan lahat yan magmukha ka pa rin matangkad at the end of the day. So, yes. for me, the rationale is kung mas marami kang ang fabric, uh, mas balti ka tingnan, mas, um, mas magulo tingnan. So, with Michelle, mas nag-work talaga sa kanya yung mas simple na cut. Kung ako ngayon ang masusunod, gusto ko yung cut sana nung finals gown ni Michelle. And when you look at the Noel Chrysostomo gown, meron siyang parang, kasi medyo bipolar yung gown ni Michelle eh. One side is very satiny, the other side is embellished. Had yeah. she taken the embellished fabric and then used it on the simple silhouette of the finals, yeah. I would have really liked it more. So, dito naman tayo ngayon sa... Um, we're going now to sino ba susunod natin? Miss Rumblon. 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 So, uh, Marie P. Tajaran from Rumblon. Ano mas get mo? Nakametalik siya on prelims and then finals. Um, it's by Pablo Mendez. I think yung finals. Pablo Mendez. Yes. Yes. Um, I pick that one kasi I know yung kwento nung finals na gawin. Oo. Oo. Um, kwento mo nga, Sir Jason. The, 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 uh, the gown is supposed to mimic palay. The palay. The moment of, um, of palay, uh, uh, rice, uh, rice fields na, na kapag, ano, kapag, yun, eh. na, hitik na yung, yung ano, hitik na yung, yung stock ng, uh, ng palay, nagbebent na siya. And kapag may wind, nagmumove siya with the wind. That's why I get kung saan yung reference ng fringes at the skirt, lower skirt of uh, uh, the oh. part. Kasi ganun ang palay, eh. nag, 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 nagmumove siya together with the, with, the, uh, with the wind. So, I am putting my, ano, my, my I'm putting my, uh, I'm putting the finals as my favorite. Ayun. Um, ako naman, mas gusto ko yung hair and makeup niya sa prelims, but I will also choose the finals. Uh, minsan kasi pag ganyan, nakakadala rin yung story eh. Um, yes. Although I like the silhouette of the prelims gown, I also felt that it was sort of um, more like a pageant gown na nakita na natin. Minsan parang nakita ko na rin to sa Versace, um, yes. sa isa sa mga collection ng Versace. I don't know kung mahahagilap ko pa yung photo para ma-side by side ko siya. But gusto ko rin yung palay na um, hugot. Iba rin naman kasi kapag may hugot ang isang gown. Alright, so now we are with our last girl. She is 
um, pretty controversial these days. Pero medyo mupupa na naman sa mga nagaantay ng patsaa dyan. Uh, mukhang eto lahan siya ang iinumin natin ngayon. Um, talking about Sandra Lemonon. Now, her first gown for prelims, it was made by Mark the amazing Garner. Mark Bumgarner. And then the finals gown was made by Bench Ligiem. Alin dito, Sir Jason? Huwag ka magpasindak sa pangalan. Yung yellow. Kasi <laughs> <laughs> Mark Bumbagarner. Kasi ang happy ng kulay eh. Ang happy this, ng... Ang kulay, ang uh, happy yung kulay. And um, there's something about the finals look na hindi nagmatch yung hair with the gown. That I like on the prelims na I don't know, it looks more pu- well put up. Oh, I mean, not well put up. Uh, it was uh, uh, put together better, I believe. That's the word. Uh, it was more put together as compared to the uh, to the finals. Yung yellow really... Kasi uh, medyo morena yung, 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 yung kutis niya. So nag-pop out yung pagka-morena niya because of the yellow. Um, plus the fact that yung 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 swags yung yung fabric swags and draping on the skirt part hindi siya yung tipong hindi siya yung tipong um, you can do it uh, flat pattern making you have to drape that para makita mo kung paano babagsak yung tela on its own so hindi siya yung tipong tipong uh, tipong uh, skill it it has something to do with the technical know-how of the designer that kinakailangan na kinakailangan alam niya kung ano yung bagsak ng fabric para maggawa niya yung ganung klaseng swags of on the fabric eh hindi siya yung tipong um Tantuan madaling gawin eh. you have to scope the fabric para it behaves that way and kung hindi mo alam kung paano ang bagsak ng fabric hindi mo hindi mo siya mapapaabot um ako naman i will agree with you hindi naman sa nagpapasindak sa pangalan pero Yes, mas sparks joy sa akin yung kanyang prelims na gown. Now, um, may konti lang akong uh, thing about the prelims gown. Parang, I feel that it was made for someone else. Medyo nalakihan lang ako sa fit nung gown na yun. Um, but I think she could have done better kung yun yung gown niya. Now, going naman to uh, the Bench Ligyev gown, uh, I get the inspiration kasi she's a beachy type of girl so sure. siguro hinarness yeah. nila yung the beach thing but uh, I will also note that the make itself is really really good the construction is really really good um, mas nakitaan ko lang siya ng parang hybrid ng Catriona lava gown for the cut sa harapan and then yung sa likod na part niya parang very yung eagle looking at its reflection na gown ni Kat. Uh, okay. For okay. the color yeah. combination. I did like the embellishments na parang teardrop crystals, na parang it was yes. very Thierry Mugler na, na sinuot ni Kim Kardashian, na sinuot din before um, back in the day sa isang fashion show for Thierry Mugler. So, uh, but I also will agree with you and I think a lot of people will also agree na medyo hindi ganun ka-successful yung hair nung yeah. time na yun. Parang may disconnect. So, yeah. had it worked with a different hair, siguro medyo. But um, when it came to fit issues, kahit na medyo may konting laki yung prelim sa akin, mas, mas gusto prelim. ko siya. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. But I understand the color... Um, Color direction. Kasi nga, you know, water, beach, and yan. Alright, so Sir Jason, overall, sinong top mo sa evening gown competition? <laughs> Hindi na kinakain ang pag-isipan. The Hindi na kailangan pag-isipan. Hindi na kailangan Oo, siya may pita pa pa pang segment natin eh. Oo, and even, the, even, even if i-factor natin yung mga prelims na gown, one and two ko, it's going to be Joe Rubio and John Makasinag. Those two gowns really... So lahat. Tumat- so lahatin mo, no? Oo. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Feeling ko successful yung campaign ni Alay sa um, gown-wise. Yes. Tama. Gown-wise. Alright. Um, I know na top 16 lang to. Medyo marami tayong girls this time. Uh, 
could you share with us, Sir Jason, what were the gowns that did not make it, at least for the finals? Na talagang gandang-ganda ka, it would have been nice kung nairampay. There is, I only have one on my list. Um, oh, interesting. I have three. Yeah, it's the it's the lime green uh, gown that Miss Makati Ivana uh, passes. Uh, I'm not sure if I pronounce her last name uh, correctly. If yes. it's passes or patch, patches, patches, passes. Um, <laughs> ang lakas ng mga Versace. Uh-huh. I mean, add a it's little bit more. By the way. Add a little bit more, you know, more stones and sparkle on it. Pageant gown na pageant gown. Pageant. Ito yung it, um, ito yung tipong um, kahit si Alfredo Barasa, kokopyahin yan for for uh, for Miss Colombia girls that's, uh, that, that, that he would dress up. Because, um, I hear you with you? more sparkle. I'm, I'm all for sparkles. Uh, very rare yung makastumble tayo ng gown na walang sparkle. Pero yes. uh, katulad nung nangyari kay Eliza, katulad nung kay Elizabeth Clancy na Just yes. Terezo. Very rare yung mga ganong klase ng gowns. Um, are you done? Okay naman yes, tayo? Yes, I don't know one. Mo? Okay. Uh-huh. Ako naman, like I mentioned, I have three. Um, if you're a little bit uh, bitin pagdating sa sparkle, I think nakabawi sana si Miss Makati also for me because she had herself photographed in her finals gown. Unfortunately, hindi na irampa yon. It was a white gown that was beautifully structured, beautifully cinched, beautifully made also by Anthony Ramirez. So nang nahinayang ako, hindi siya nakita. Um, another gown that I would like to uh, give a shout out was by Miss uh, worn by Miss Katanduanes Sigrid. Uh, she was in a fully embellished white gown, na parang very shell like, um, very uh-huh, yeah. you know, sea sea goddess type of gown. Um, sayang sana nakita natin. And one of my favorites, I know green is somewhat polarizing, but I think this was one of the more successful greens had we seen it uh, kay Miss Bulacan um, gawa to ni Manny Halasan so lalo natin nakita yung embellishment part kasi as we all know Sir Manny is a jewelry designer so wala tayong uh, hindi tayo ijejeta sa so, Paswarovsky uh, crystals yes. ang ganda ganda ang ganda ganda sa akin nung pagkakayari pagdating dun sa embellishments ayan so yeah, I guess uh, overall, Sir Jason, sa tingin mo ba, very successful tong um, competition na to, gown-wise. Yes, yes. gown-wise, very, very successful. And I also noticed na yung mga gowns na na-impress tayo, ang daming, um, ang daming, uh, ang daming, uh, sorry, the, the gowns that we noticed are the chartreuse gowns. <laughs> Tatlo yung napansin natin na chartreuse na very, very effective. Um, and it and I think what uh, what what the lesson here uh, dito sa mga choices ng mga gowns uh, dito sa, ano, dito sa uh, MUP finals and prelims is that huwag kang matakot na gumamit ng napakasimple na gown. Just like uh-huh. what Eliza did and what Elizabeth Clancy did in uh, 2017. Kasi it puts the wearer um, into spotlight. So, hindi ka pwedeng, spotlight. hindi ka pwedeng, yung hindi, hindi, hindi ka pwedeng nagdadalawang isip if you're gonna wear something that is so simple and so clean. So, yun yung, I think, um, one of the things that uh, pageant girls can take away from uh, from the entire experience or from the entire uh, uh, Miss Universe Philippines uh, uh, evening gowns is, huwag kang matakot sa, sa simple um, hindi lahat ng fully embellished eh, eh, nag-work. Oh, tama, tama. So, so, don't be afraid to experiment as long as um, alam mong nasa estilo mo yung, yung, uh, yung gown na gagamitin. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, siguro ko meron din ako may uh, advice, unsolicited, hindi naman hiningi yung opinion ko. Um, 
collaborate talaga. Huwag ka masyado rin magpa-elbow sa designer. I know they are professionals. I know alam nila yung ginagawa nila. Pero at the end of the day, vision mo yan eh. Ikaw ang rarampa dun. So, bago pa namin malaman yung pangalan ko, sino yung designer mo, bago pa namin malaman yung backstory ng gown mo, kailangan meron kang hand sa decision-making process. Kasi kung sakaling manalo ka, uulit-ulitin mo yung narrative na yan, how you came up with that gown design. So it has to be something that you can own up to. Yun lang naman. All right. So Sir Jason, maraming maraming salamat. Uh, wag ka munang aalis dyan. Makichismisan pa tayo. Pero maraming maraming salamat for your input. Um, ikaw talaga yung perfect na tao na naisip ko for this um, because... Yeah, because of your background. So guys, thank you so much. This will officially close the chapter of Miss Universe Philippines. I will have more in store for you. I know that you're waiting for Gazini Part 2 of Wardrobe Decoded. We will serve that to you later on. And again, I have something very special coming up this November. So please make sure that you keep your eyes open for your notifications because this will be huge. So thank you so much, guys. Good night, goodbye, good morning, good afternoon. Kung nasa mo kayo sa parte ng mundo, maraming maraming salamat. Maraming. All right. Maraming.